There's been a lot of interest recently in the intriguing idea that humans might have bred with our close relatives, the Neanderthals, and actually exchanged genetic material. We've been studying this phenomenon in butterflies and trying to understand the evolutionary implications of the exchange of genetic material between different species. In 1848, Henry Walter Bates and his good friend Alfred Russell Wallace set sail on an epic voyage for the Amazon. They both spent many years in the jungles of the Amazon basin, studying the plants and the animals they found. And their studies really contributed to our understanding of evolutionary biology and natural history, right at the time when Darwin was writing his book, The Origin of Species. Henry Walter Bates was particularly interested in the butterflies, and he made a series of observations that at first seemed to challenge the theory of natural selection. He observed that very distantly related butterfly species had very similar wing patterns, so similar in fact they were extremely difficult to distinguish. He proposed that these distantly related species evolved to have similar wing patterns in order to fool predators, in order to send a signal that these were not profitable prey, and this phenomenon became known as mimicry. So in 1863, soon after the publication of The Origin of Species, Henry Walter Bates published his book on his observations during his time in the Amazon. In addition to the mimicry that he'd observed between species, he also documented uh, very closely related populations of what we would now consider the same species that had very different appearances. And then in between these different populations, he observed areas where there were intermediates, where there were many butterflies that seemed to form a continuous link between these two different forms. This got Charles Darwin very excited because it seemed to provide direct support for his idea that new species could arise through gradual evolution. We now know that these populations of intermediates are in fact hybrids which form where the two distinct populations meet and interbreed. And we can use the wing patterns and the DNA of these hybrid individuals to actually understand something about how the DNA sequences control differences in the wing patterns of the butterflies.